So we're still with Dave from Energive. And one of the biggest questions we always get asked and when customers are coming into us and sending inquiries online is, how big a system do I need to run my aircon? Or if I'm off grid, how big a system do I need to run my aircon? So we're out in the middle of, we're on my dad's farm actually today, shooting yeah. some content and a bit of a camping weekend. But so we've actually got the aircon on, we're hooked into no power. It's, it's nice and quiet, so you might not be able to hear it, but the aircon's definitely running. Yeah. Well, let's have a look what the system's doing and what charge we're using out of this system. Adam, this is one of my favorite topics. We've done lots of content on air conditioning versus yeah. battery systems, and for good reason. Uh, a lot of people still question if you can do it or if it's viable. Yep. And this is testament to the fact that it is viable, it can be done, but you need to do it properly and you need to understand your system. No system is complete without a battery monitor. I stress that point. And if you're intending to run 2000 watt and 2600 watt inverters or greater, you need to monitor your batteries and understand your battery monitor. And that's where this comes in. Check it out. So this is the ePro Plus battery monitor. And at the moment, we can see here that we have a deficit of approximately 35 amps, 34.9 amps. Now, keeping in mind, there is 720 watts of solar on the roof on this build. So the net value of what's being consumed right now knowing that the air conditioning is fully operational and running is 35 amps. Yeah. Had the solar have not been connected, I'm pretty comfortable we would see figures right now upwards of around 70 amps per hour. So we'll check that in a moment. We'll see how much power we're, we're supporting this with via solar. But on these figures in this weather, based on that situation at the moment, the easy way to think of it is if we ran it for 10 hours, 35, 350 amps of consumption. And we've got two, 200. Exactly. Yeah, so You've got 400 amps of power. Does that make it right to plan to run this for 10 hours? No, of course not. Because no system's complete without a means to put the power back. If we're demonstrating a deficit of 35 amps per hour, yeah. tomorrow we're going to have flat batteries for the time we wake we're up. Done. Right? Yeah. We're done. No fridge, no fans. So no that's no. why we need to understand the monitor. Yeah, this is totally achievable and it's not wrong to plan to run air conditioning but understand your system and your battery monitor and make a calculated informed decision. So if it's hot and you're traveling and you're gonna stop somewhere for a rest on that road trip, you just need a break and you're planning to be there for maybe two or three hours, it's not a big deal. Sure, you will have consumed some power out of your batteries, but then you're gonna hop back in your car, you're gonna start it, you're charging, your system is perfect because you're also charging from solar as well. Charging, yeah. Yep, by the time you get to your next destination, you expect to be full or close to full in your batteries. And I mean, you hit the nail on the head. Like, we were out last weekend, we should have Kenilworth with the kids. They've been swimming all morning. They got to lunchtime. I got two young kids that are absolutely knackered by lunchtime. Yeah. And I said, like, let's chuck them in the van. We chucked the aircon on. We had, they had a two hour sleep. And we <laughs> ran the aircon for two hours. The kids went in, they settled quickly because so it was cool. nice and cool. They slept for two hours, we turned it back on. And by that night, when we started to cook dinner and all that sort of thing, we we're back up to nearly 100%. Yep, you know, that was exactly. Phenomenal. Yep. And you know, earlier on when I checked this system, I was seeing figures of over 40 amps coming out of that for 720 watts. You guys have obviously cabled this system really well. Yeah. I know the panels are good, they're ours. Yeah. <laughs> so 720 watts of solar, I know they're going to work exceptionally well, yep. but they're only as good as the installation. Yep. And to be achieving over 40 amps an hour out of that system is a pretty good effort. I just saw this creep down to 13. It's now sitting at about 23, 22 amps per hour. Yeah. That tells me that solar is really ramping up. Yeah. Um, and we got a cloudy day outside too. I was just looking for that hatch just there and we've got a bit, bit overcast. It's warm, but it's overcast. So, so to, to, to really finalize this little segment, I think it's worth noting that's air conditioning. But you've got microwaves in here. Your yeah, intention yeah. is to run induction cooking outside. Yeah, we've got a custom barbecue coming with induction cooktop, so tune, look at that, it's gonna be awesome. It's all doable. <laughs> yeah, so Absolutely I mean, we've got the fridge doable. on, you know, I haven't turned the microwave on, we've got the microwave on. And today we're filming, so every light in the build is turned on. Every light is on, uh, we've got yeah. laptops hooked up outside, we've got batteries being charged in the, in the ensuite in there, so there's a bit of draw on the system as well. So yeah, it's pretty impressive. As far as air conditioning goes, guys, the key is to use good quality modern air conditioning. The Dometic Aircon units, the inverter technology units, you can't go past them. They're beautiful and kind on an inverter, and that's critical. They're soft in the way that they start up. They don't have that huge big punch, that big inrush. Yeah. So they're really well complemented to an inner drive power system. Yeah, exactly. It works beautifully. This is seamless. I love it. Yeah. So congratulations. Did mate. you want to have a look at the MPPT? Yeah, first wouldn't hurt actually. Yeah. Let's do that first before we sign off. So we're just going to make our way down here to the battery system guys and I'll show you the solar controller. Okay guys, so the solar controller, this is an inner drive MPPT solar controller. 
It's worth noting the EPRO Plus monitor simply gives you the net value of what's coming or going from your battery at any given time. So while we're running air conditioning and what have you, we just wanted to show you how hard the solar is working to at least offset that significant load on the batteries. Naturally, if the solar wasn't operational, it'd be 100% deficit on the batteries. But in this case, yes, the air conditioning is using more than what we're putting in, but we're softening the burden with our solar system. So here's the uh, Innerdrive MPPT solar controller. And at present, I'm just waiting for that to scroll through now. This controller actually shows you voltage from the solar array, array kilowatts, amp hours being produced, load if you choose to connect it and so forth. So in just a moment, this is gonna show us exactly how much power we can, we're producing. And at the moment, I'm seeing 25.5 amps per hour. Out of curiosity, Adam, what are you seeing there, mate? I'm seeing we're 19. 19 amps. Yeah. yeah, so effectively, I just said 25. This is where I get tested for my school. Uh, just show a 55 amps per hour Correct. consumption. It yeah, would have so been. That aircon, it's dropped back now. It has sort of, revved sort of back a little right? bit. Yeah. yeah, and effectively, that would have been a deficit of just shy of 55 amps per hour. Yeah. But uh, with the solar system, you can see, guys, the benefit. So solar is not always about replacing all the power you use all the time. Um, naturally, that's the goal and that's certainly the holy grail, but it's also about simply making a lifestyle choice. We want to be able to run air conditioning. We know we're limited by roof space, but we need to watch our battery monitor. And with the benefit, the added benefit of solar, we can run it for a little bit longer than what we otherwise could have. So it's always a compromise and that's where the team from Suncoast come in. They'll help you make the right decision based on your expectations. Okay guys, so there you have it. This van has four solar panels on the roof, 180 watt Enerdrive panels, 720 watts, but that's why you go to a place like Suncoast, obviously. Yeah, 100%. So I guess we specialize in Enerdrive battery systems. We do a lot of battery systems, but Enerdrive is what we specialize in. One of the biggest keys about coming to someone like us and Suncoast Government Service is we can custom build you a system to your requirements. So. For us, I built this system to fit our requirements. Yeah. Uh, someone with a smaller van, we can't put as many panels on the roof, so we might put bigger batteries in, or we can put heaps of panels so we can get away with some smaller batteries, or if you're a weekend warrior or you want to live in your van, we can customize a system with our team to fit your exact requirements. And I stress, you've got a team that is skilled in this. This is a craft. It's not just about being able to join wires together. <laughs> it starts in the office and in front of a customer asking the right questions and designing a fit for purpose system. Yeah. That's where you guys come in. Yeah, we invest so much time with and, and Matt, our, our rep, he is absolutely sensational. He comes in, he sits down with our team. Once a month, we do training with Ender Drive, with yeah. our team, and it, it pays off for us because we put better quality systems in, we have happier customers, we sell more product, and it's better. We sell better systems for our customers because they understand what they're selling, and that's absolutely right. crucial. Mm. Um, and getting customers a system that really works for them, uh, anyone can chuck batteries and a few solar panels down, but having a system that really operates and works for you is so crucial. Awesome work, mate. Thanks Cheers. Thanks, guys. All the best.